Genesis 1 verse 11. Then God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb that yields seed, and the fruit tree that yields fruit, according to its kind and whose seed is in itself, on the earth, and it was so. This is interesting. God is creating the vegetation, the herbs, and the fruits. He's saying, let there be grass. He's saying, let there be herbs. He's saying, let there be fruits. What is God talking about here? He's talking about, number one, when we're talking about grass, it's vegetation. When we're talking about herbs, that's health, that's medication. When we're talking about fruits, that's nutrition. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know whatever you're going through, I don't know wherever you'll be today, but go and try to be part of these three things. Number one, vegetation decorates the world and makes it more beautiful and nice. So wherever you go today, make sure you leave the environment nice. Make sure you leave people happy saying, wow, this is beautiful. Number two, God said, let there be herbs. Why herbs? These are for healing. Maybe you're going to meet today people that are heartbroken. Don't go and add salt to the scars in Instead, go and heal them. We will, we will meet people that are struggling in certain aspects of their life. Instead of going to laugh about it and laugh at them, don't go and laugh at them. Go and simply heal them. Go and heal them. Maybe it's your parents. We are living in a broken world, remember. But it doesn't mean that you should add to the brokenness of the world. Go and heal the world. And number three, God said, let there be fruits. That's nutrition. Go and add carbohydrates. Maybe you're working at an organization where you can see that things are not okay, but you are the solution. Add nutrients, add the proteins, add the vitamins for things to go well. Even in your family, things might seem not right. Go and add nutrition. So God is creating these three aspects so that you and I can learn and be better people in this world. God bless you.